from the New Haven Heat. Eighth grade team, if you're looking for a good game, give us a call at 203-508-3644. New Haven Heat. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Gita General coming from the General's Report. Uh, we're joined here by Coach Rick Kennedy and uh, some of his New Haven Heat players. Uh, we're going to get to talk to him and some of his players just about their program, what they have coming up next, and how you can help support them or where you guys can come and play them and stuff like that. All right, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so Coach Kennedy, how you doing, man? Pretty good. Glad to have you here, man. I appreciate you guys coming down and, um, you know, coming to part of the show. So, first of all, just like how did you get involved, man? I know I know you and stuff like that, but some people might not know your history and why you're involved in basketball and stuff like that. Yeah, um, well, I've been coaching for about 30 years, <clears throat> and I think my first team was with Maurice Williamson and mm -hmm. William Antrim, and I, I tried to retire two years ago, and mm -hmm. uh, a couple of my relatives dragged me out of retirement. Mm -hmm. Every time it seems like I get out, they drag me back okay. in. So mm -hmm. that's where we're at now. Okay. So what, what is your motivation now to keep going, knowing that you want it to be mm -hmm. out of the loop? Well, um, what I do is I commit to a team. So I committed to uh, the team last year, seventh graders. Teams, when I get them from sixth, seventh grade all the way until they graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. So I'm committed to these guys until they graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. Some will stay. Some will uh, get what they think are better offers, and they'll go on, and we'll get people to fill in their spots. Mm -hmm. But we're committed until they graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. So what, what are some of the reasons why you, you know, you select, how do you select your kids? Is it just like, I only take the best kids, or is there what type of process do you have with getting kids? Well, we take people that want to learn and know how to behave on and off the court. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, we could work with the talent, so if, if they're a little, little challenge talents wise as long as they're willing to learn play hard and our rule is you come on the court you're going to be a gentleman you're going to play hard and um, nobody's above the team and they're willing to do that and then they could be part of the new haven heat okay so now what if somebody wanted to join your team or they wanted to contact you for games and everything like that what type of contact number or information do you have yeah um anyone that wants to play us um give me a call at 203-508-3644 but as far as adding any players right now, we're full with 12 players. And like I said, you know, uh, this is a, a funny game. So somebody will think they'll get a better offer and what have you. And they'll see it in the long run. So when somebody uh, gets pulled with that, um, then we'll have room for somebody else. Okay. So what are some of the tournaments that you guys do, that you guys play? Um, well, we're preparing now. Uh, for next week, we're playing in the NERR. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of zero gravities. Uh, we play in the Rumble in the Bronx, and we're going to be going to Division One Nationals in Florida um, July 17th. Mm -hmm. Now, what about as far as support? I know a lot of you know New York and you know out of state teams. A lot of everybody's getting sponsored up and everything like that. What about you guys? How do you keep your program running? Yeah, we we do a lot of fundraisers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we get out on the corners with our buckets. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a fundraiser at um, uh, Fridays. Uh, we are going to be at Walmart um, on this Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever we can do, we're um, trying to get some tournament games in. Mm -hmm. and so whatever we can do to raise money, um, AU is expensive. And mm -hmm. we, we're the cheapest team in town. Mm -hmm. uh, we charged everyone $400, and that's not enough for the tournaments or anything. Mm -hmm. So we got to do a lot of fundraisers. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wanted to donate to you guys or anything like that or, you know, support you guys, it's the same contact information as you already Yes, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And um, checks would be written out to uh, the New Haven Heat basketball family. Mm -hmm. So where are you guys kind of based out of? I know, you, you know you're from Hamden, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live and in Hamden. So are you guys practicing it or stuff in Hamden or is it a New Haven team? Uh, you guys we practice that? in New Haven. We practice on Mondays at Sheridan uh, School and then on Thursdays we practice at Jepson. Mm -hmm. uh, we're made up of... Basically half New Haven, half um, Hamden. We have uh, one player from Waterbury, uh, another from Guilford, and another from West Haven. Okay. Now, what about as far as coaches? Are you the only coach, or is there other coaches, or you're like a one-man show? Here? No, no. We, we have uh, four other coaches, and um, they all played with me at one time, mm -hmm. from uh, Coach Kyle mm -hmm. Daniels to uh, Coach Joel Pullen to Coach Doc Kennedy and Coach uh, Lawrence McGill. They all played with us, so they know what I expect. Mm -hmm. And they, they say I'm getting a little soft because they said I used to yell at them a little bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Well, I think too, too, with some of that, these kids are getting a little softer as well. So, you know, that's part of it. But, um, you know, we're going to talk to some of your kids, man. I definitely okay. appreciate you coming out, man. Thank you. And hopefully you guys can represent you like you said they are, and they don't start stuttering on us, you know. So uh, we'll be right back, and we'll talk to some of you guys. All right. All right, so we're back here. We're joined by members of the New Haven Heat. Um, we're going to start off with Nas. All right. Nas. Yes. Nas Jones, uh, you're an eighth grader, obviously, right? Yes, sir. He's an eighth grader from New Haven. New Haven, Connecticut. So, what were some of the reasons why you joined the New Haven Heat, and why do you feel like this is the program for you? I feel like that if I joined New Haven Heat, I would build a better character, and I would surround myself with like people who want me to get better instead of like coaches who just just coach instead of building character and a and a um, player. So, I thought it would be better for me and my like life going on in like high school and college. Did you read that? No. Oh man, that was a good answer. I don't know, like, he set the bar high, Nate. I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna be able to match that. <laughs> what about for you? What's your name? Terrence. Terrence, what's Terrence? Edwards. Terrence Edwards. I see you out there looking like Zach Randolph a little bit. So uh, <laughs> is that who you think you are? You got the headband and everything? The left hand? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. All right, but what was one of the reasons why you, you joined the Heat and why you like it? Because like, I just wanted to play AAU. This is my first time playing AAU, <coughs> and I thought I was going to get known. You thought you was? Yeah. I just told you you look like Zach Randolph. You know him. Well, I, I am going to get known. I just got your fire with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do you feel about the coaches? Do you feel like Coach Lawrence or Coach Kennedy yeah. is doing good justice for you? Yeah, they gave me good support. Always on my back. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about for you? How, what, what was some of the reasons why you joined the Heat? Um, I joined the Wayne Heat because I never played AAU before. I went to play a high level basketball and play against some competition mm -hmm. and, and get known, like, like you said. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel like that's a good opportunity? I mean, that's that the coaches are doing a good job just letting you guys come in and play, knowing that you never had any AAU experience? Because some teams, they're like, oh, this dude never even played, so I ain't picking him. They trust us. They, trust they, they work with us, get us better. Mm -hmm. All right. So I know Coach Kennedy is kind of hard and stuff like that. I don't know about the rest of the rest of the staff and stuff. How they their demeanors are coaching and everything. How how do you how do you take that when Coach really get on you and stuff like that? I just do what he says. Just do what he says. Mm -hmm. No fussing back. Okay. So what about for you, Nate? Um, I don't know your last name, Nate Morrison. Morrison. Mm -hmm. All right. So what were some of the reasons why you joined the uh, Heat? I joined Navy Heat because I heard that like there was a good team and good coaching staff. And he exposed us in good tournaments to get us better mm -hmm. and more competition. Okay. And the coaches that good. All right. So one question I want to ask you guys, I ask everybody is, I don't know about you guys can answer it, but if you ever played outside of Connecticut, what do you think the difference is from playing teams in Connecticut and playing teams from outside of Connecticut? Or Either you guys can answer. I'm going to go first. I'll go, go first. It's like, like when you play like rec ball, like Farnham and Park and Rec, like it's different than AAU because the game is going by so fast and like it's taken serious. Like when Park and Rec and Farnham, like it's it's like <coughs> funny games, but with AAU, like it's serious and you play with competition from around the world. I mean, around the, like the U.S. So it's like it's hard. It's not harder, but like you become as more stronger as a player when you when you play AAU than when you play with Farnham or Park and Rec. Mm -hmm. Um. I think it's a lot, a lot different because like the competition is like way better than in Connecticut. Mm. All right, so being that you guys are a, a AAU travel team, obviously you go outside of Connecticut and stuff like that. What were some of the furthest places, or where's where somewhere outside of Connecticut, Connecticut that you guys have played? We went to Virginia for a Nike tournament. Mm. The competition was like very, very high. Mm. So what about down there? Was because I'm sure that when you go once you start going down south, the kids are thicker, bigger, taller. You know, but what was, what do you think, in your opinion, we'll start over here. In your opinion, what was the difference of playing those kids in Virginia rather than playing kids in New York or whatever? Like, people like us, like us, like me, Nate, and Terrence, I know that in New Haven or, like, in Connecticut, we count as guards. I mean, like, centers and, like, forwards. But, like, when you go, like, out of state, like, in Virginia, they had their bigs average six three height bringing up the ball with no problem. Mm -hmm. And that's different, like, because us in New Haven, we, we play big, even though we like, six feet. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's kind of different mm -hmm. knowing that people are hyped and out of state is playing guard. Mm -hmm. That's just, it's different. So, for you, knowing that you're, you know, you're one of the big guys and I see you in there playing post, what, uh, how did that motivate your game? Like, what does it do for you to see, like, okay, there's kids 6'4", 
playing the one and the two. I just need to keep working, get my dribble, get my shot. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And what about for you? Um, I think, well, well, it looked different for Virginia because like older kids, they were big, big guards, athletic. Some were dunking. Like it was crazy down there. <laughs> and what about for you, Nate? Um, the kids down there were more aggressive. Totally, like Troy said, stronger, and just, yeah, it's good. All right, well, all right, man. Well, I appreciate y'all coming on. Um, hopefully, I wish you guys luck, and hopefully, we'll see you guys again. All right, yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right, what's up? We're back here. We're joined by members of the Connecticut Heat, um, eighth grade team. We're joined by Coach Lawrence. Um, he's a, I know he's formerly a high school player in Connecticut. Uh, also won the state championship, right, with career magnet. So, so Lawrence, how did, how did you get involved with the New Haven Heat? Well, um, since Coach Rick being my former coach, mm -hmm. I, he asked me would I like to give back and help, and I felt it was necessary for me to help contribute to the kids and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel like you contribute to the to the program as far as on the bench or whatever? Um, positive encouragement, kind of being like the hype man in a, in a sense. As you always were. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, just building young men pretty much on and off the court. Mm -hmm. So how, how has your relationship been with Coach Kennedy being that you, you played with him? Uh, second, he's always been like a second father to me basically. Always been there when I need to talk to him whenever. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so how do you feel so far about the group of guys that you have now? Um, I feel this is a really good group of kids. Um, feel as if they are great young men. They listen. Um, great basketball players for the future. I feel they have a lot of room to grow, but they'll be very talented as the years to come. Mm -hmm. You being a player and you played at that level of, of being in a high school state championship and stuff like that. How do you think that you can? What type of uh, empowerment can you give to them, or just information on how they can become that player or whatever? Um, I just keep pushing that they continue to work hard and listen to what we, us coaching staff, has to say because we both played at the high school level, and what we're saying is just trying to help them, not hurt them. So, mm. okay, all right, man. Well, I appreciate it, Thank and uh, hopefully we'll see you again as well, and uh, follow up with you guys in the rest of the season. Thank you. All right. All right, we're back here. We're joined with members of the New Haven Heat, um, eighth grade team. And we're here. We're joined by Jonathan Relaford of New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah. Right. So, okay, so what were some of the reasons why you joined the New Haven Heat? Um, because, like, one, because of the competition over here. And, and like, this is my first year playing, like, like real basketball, actually. And so, and I wanted, like, like, to start basketball, like playing good competition, and and right now I think I'm I'm like improving like game by game, practice by practice, and and I think this is a really good program. That's a really good team and stuff. And, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're joined with Makai Chambers of New Haven, Connecticut, as well, yes. an eighth grader. <clears throat> um, what what made you join the New Haven? Youth? Because um, coaching staff is good, and um, I feel like if I come here. To make me a better player and a better person, and um, playing against the top competition, competing mm -hmm. um, every game, and um, just getting better, getting ready for high school. Okay. And do you feel like this program is helping you prepare yourself for high school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Carpenter. Carpenter. All right. So Aiden Carpenter, another eighth grader, but you're from Hamden, Hamden Connecticut. Uh, so why would somebody from Hamden want to be down with the New, uh, New Haven Heat? I joined the Navy Heat because I wanted to face competition that I knew was better than me, did me better. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And your name is? Mikey West. Mikey West? Mm -hmm. And you're from? Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, Waterbury, Connecticut. So that's like a nice little 30 minutes, 25 minute ride. What made you come all the way down here from, from there? Because I feel that the style of the play is better. And I feel that I fit in to make my surroundings better. Okay. So as far as the coaching staff, I know you guys got four coaches. Uh, all of them kind of have, a, all of them have basketball experience and stuff like that. Uh, what, what, how do you feel about the the coaches? They're really good mentors, and they can teach you like some good stuff. Okay. So what about for you? Um, as far as coaches, they're very good coaching staff. Um, they push you to your limits, and um, 
uh, they want you to succeed in life. In life. Yeah. And what about for you? Like, I think of Coach Rick, like as a father figure, and then like Lawrence and Dap, and like my brothers. So, mm. yeah. And you, Mike? I feel that they're a good coaching staff, and like they teach you more about basketball than anything. And they they have experience because they play. Mm -hmm. So, what about as far as your, your traveling? I know you guys, you know, you say you go to different places. What are some of the places that you've been so far with the New England? Virginia. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Virginia has some, like, very, very good competition. Mm -hmm. and, and it was a very good um, experience for us. And, yeah, it was a really good experience. And what about you? Virginia. Virginia. Mm -hmm. Competition, of course. Mm -hmm. People more, like, bigger. Bigger and uh, taller than us, and um, they play very, very aggressive down there. <coughs> mm -hmm. What about for you? Yeah, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Virginia. Virginia and Florida. With the Heat. Yeah, I was. Oh, you went to Florida or somewhere else. So, as far, being that you, you guys uh, went to Virginia, obviously, uh, how would you gauge them compared to Connecticut basketball? Um, basketball down here is like you're playing against people your height. You don't normally see nobody bigger than six feet because it's a small city. It's tight. Down here, it's like it's more bigger and the population is bigger. So you have you have a variety of players and all types of different styles. Good answer. Down here, like with like basketball, but like some people don't take it seriously, or some people do. But but like but like. Like some people from like Virginia and Florida and Texas and all that stuff, like, the, like they, they take it a little more serious than that. Yeah, yeah, and and like, and like they wake up like at three o'clock in the morning to like take like ten laps and stuff in the morning and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. and like and then like um, and then like people in Virginia and stuff like that, like um, they're more like. Educated, like and the people, too, yeah. yeah, and disciplined in us from like Connecticut and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, being that you guys have a great program, and I know you have 11, 11 kids right now on this eighth grade team. Uh, if I was a parent and uh, approached you on why my son should join the New Haven Heat, what what would you say? I would say your son should join the New Haven Heat because it will make him a better player and on and off the court, and he can. Surrounding us, like with good positive attitude. Yeah, um, I would tell them to come here because you know, that's all about the That like you'll get known and like they'll put you out there. Exposure wise. Exposure wise and good terms. Like, mm -hmm. They'll um, make them. They'll make them better as a um, player too. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they'll probably turn out into a young gentleman. Mm -hmm. I would say like if you if you trying to get better, join the Heat because you facing competition. You facing people that are way better than you. Facing people that are dunking. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So do you feel like some of the other teams they kind of go to tournaments that they know they can win rather than go to tournaments like coaches bringing you to where you can possibly lose games and everything? Like yeah, that? we go to tournaments where there's teams that's just. Never seen that like yeah, that. Never yeah, never seen that like that before. Because that's what I say, in, in my opinion, that some teams, you know, they walk around waving their flag, but they don't really go to the tournaments where they can lose, you know. But like from my experiences with my girls or boys, I take them to tournaments, and I'd rather them lose so we can come back and get better in the gym, you know. Because if you go to all these tournaments and you constantly win it against the Rhode Island Alligators and the Massachusetts Apricots, then, you know, the kids are never going to want to be back in the gym. So I think that's one thing that I like about – you guys program and Coach Kennedy, you know, being that I've known for a long time, that he always wanted to always play at like, the highest level that they could play at. You know, so uh, I appreciate, you know, you guys coming in and giving me your time. Uh, and hopefully we'll see some more of you guys in the games and everything like that. All right? All right. Appreciate it. All right. All right, so we're back here. We're joined with the last three members of the New Haven Heat. Um, we're going to start off with... Jamie. Jamie Anders. Jamie Anders of Guilford, Connecticut. Um, being that you come from Guilford, which is you know a suburb, a suburb outside of New Haven, 
What made you join uh, the New Haven Heat? Well, I looked at it as a chance to get better. Like, I played against a lot of these kids in travel, and I knew they were very good players. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go to a team that would make me better because uh, there's the players are really good, and they play against very good competition. Mm -hmm. So did you have a relationship with Coach Kennedy or anybody else on this team? Or uh, just, just my straight father up? Like, reached out to him, and then I came to practices hoping mm -hmm. to uh, yeah, yeah, eventually yeah. be on the team, and then he eventually said I was on the team. I was very excited. Okay. So what about for you, Kyle, uh, Daniels? How, how do you feel about this program, or how long have you been involved with this program? Two years now. I mean, seven, eight, three now. Mm -hmm. um, I feel it's a good program. It gets you better, plays good competition. And people around you, teammates, are your brother. Mm -hmm. And what about for you, Jeff? I joined the Navy here to get better, surround myself with better competition. And to play people that's better than me. Mm -hmm. So now, as far as the coaching staff, how do you how do you feel about the coaching staff? Like, what type uh, of relationship do you have? They're very good coaches. They always push you to get better, and they're they're always positive, trying to like if you're down, like they'll like pick you up, and they're never satisfied. They always want you to be better and get better, and like uh, if you're not doing something right, they'll like push you to like fix it. Mm -hmm. And what about for you? Mm, I have a very close relationship with all the coaches. They're all family, either cousins, uncles, or, or my father. Mm. And, um, oh, your father's on the staff. Well, Kyle, for you being, you, you know, I, I know that one of your, I mean, your dad is one of the coaches. How how does that play out for you in the game when dad might be trying to redirect you or sell you something? You know, are you able to switch from okay that's that's my coach right now to my you know rather than my dad or is that you sometimes struggle with that well when i have to do basketball he's always my coach and that also for is still my father but mm -hmm. i consider him a coach on the coach okay well, what about for you um i have a close relationship with the coaches too but i look at the coaches like uncles fathers and brothers mm -hmm. so now being that you guys like you said a lot of you guys are from different cities and everything like that you know what? What are some of the what are some of the things that you think you can gain by playing with a kid from Guilford, a kid from Waterbury, or different places like that? Either you guys can. Um, I like to meet new people and see people from a variety of people around Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I like playing against different people so I can pick up more game of basketball and see how other people play. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to like get better and play a great competition and. Prepare myself for high school. Mm -hmm. What are some of the tournaments that you guys are go to or you know that you look forward to doing if you didn't do it already? Well, we're I, mean, I would like to um, attend the one of the hoop roots or nerd tournaments. Mm -hmm. And um, we usually play a lot of zero graduate tournaments. Mm -hmm. Massachusetts, New York, around mm -hmm. But you guys are getting ready to go to Florida? Yes. So, do you think that the Virginia tournament kind of gave you a little bit of an idea of what you're going to see when you go to Florida? Pretty Have much. any of you guys ever been down there for a tournament? Yeah. I haven't been to Florida. I haven't been to Virginia. Not to Florida yet? Yeah. Okay. So, here I am. I got a eighth grade son, right? And, I'm, and I see you guys playing. Uh, and I'm asking you, why would my, why should I get my son. Why should I call Coach Kennedy to put my son in the New Haven Heat? What would you say? Well, if your son is very serious about basketball, send him to New Haven Heat so he can have more variety of the game and see how other people play and surround yourself with better people. Mm -hmm. I would say so because we treat each other like brothers on and off the court. We all have a close bond and we just close. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, you can get better here, a lot better, because you play against great competition. The coaches and uh, kids here are great, and they always support you. And um, we just, it's, we just play a great competition. All right, man. Well, I thank you guys for coming, and uh, appreciate it. Come over, here. and I uh, hope to see you guys in the near future. All right. All right thanks. Mikey West, Board of Connecticut, Avery. Terrence Edwards, 8th grade, New Haven, 
Kinetic. My name is Niles Jones. I live in New Haven, Connecticut, and I'm in eighth grade. Kyle Daniels, eighth grade, New Haven, Connecticut. My name is Joe Pullen, from New Haven, Connecticut, I'm in eighth grade. Makai Chambers, from New Haven, Connecticut, eighth grade. My name is Aiden Carpenter, from New Haven, Connecticut, I'm in the eighth grade. Jamie Andrews, Guilford, Connecticut, 8th grade. I am Rick Kennedy from New Haven Heat, 8th grade team. If you're looking for a good game, give us a call at 203-508-3644.